we ask them for the areas of interest. Next. These are our schemes. So we have 16 departments, 134 schemes at one portal. And we've also asked, what is the scheme? So if you have an employment interest, then you search employment search. Go to the department, you will know all the schemes. Similarly, if you're interested in scholarship, you can get that. Skill development, admissions, hostel, awards, monthly pensions is basically a, it's related to a scholarship scheme. So this is how we've categorized the, the, all the schemes related to youth on one platform. Next. This is our scheme interface, so you can select the category of the scheme. If you have a department, you can select the department, and then you can search which department you have. So you see labor department, we have other departments. Most important, we haven't recreated the wheel. We have not invented the wheel again. The scheme of the scheme, the scheme of the scheme, belongs to whichever department, we have just given the link there. So that this whole updation business is not, you know what happens mostly with portals is you can never be updated. So we don't do anything. All they have to do is click that particular scheme and it'll go to the website of the particular department and it's that's naturally updated. There is no double burden on the department. Otherwise, the departments just don't take interest. So we're just like an aggregator. In today's days, we're just an aggregator of all the things to do with the youth. Next, this is what we were discussing, the MyGov thing. So we have work. Uh, I think all of you know the MyGov model, so we're basically following that. In fact, as of now, there are two important uh, areas where we are taking people's op youth opinion. I'll explain those two. Uh, one is the youth resource centers, which you want to develop at each district level. And uh, the second thing is the uh, Mukhe Mantri uh, Apprenticeship Yojana, where it has to be launched. So we are taking suggestions from youth. Se le rahe. So the very important thing that who you are actually planning for and implementing for, they are actually participating in the formulation of the policy themselves itself. That itself is a very big thing. And we have beautiful uh, suggestions coming up. Next. Uh, we have a whole section uh, on mentorship. Here, we again have sector-wise mentors. And here, the responsibility is basically with the department. And uh, they know who are the good mentors. So they'll be registering them. And then these mentors will get in touch with the people who show their interest and give them mentorship. Here also, we will not recreate. Like mental health, we already have an online portal of Government of India and our own. So we will just give the link. So wherever there are online resources available, hai, we'll be just be linking it. So you know, you're not adding to your uh, uh, logistical issues. Next. Here's the inspiration part, where we are as a department, we have small PMU, we will be identifying achievers across various sectors because everybody's interest is different, and we'll be posting those achievements here. Next. This is the uh, interactive one. Here, youth themselves can come up. They will mention what their uplabdhiyan are, unki kya achievements hai. We will get that verified, and then we will put it on the portal so that, you know, everybody knows what's happening. Next. Uh, then we have a whole section of cultural programs and activities where we will be posting all the activities. We also have district level chapters in this. Next. Uh, what is the current progress so far? So we have 29,000 visitors. We have 6,000 youth who registered. This I've already mentioned. Next. This is the gender-wise registration and the age-wise registration. Next. We have almost all districts have been covered. So every district has been registered. And look at the areas of interest which has come. So we've also identified that. So it's very important for us to see what the data is telling us. It's not just an empty, uh, you know, in a cosmetic kind of a thing. So we are working on that part, and it's, it's developing very fast right now. Next. These are the queries which come through contact us. So the, a lot of them was about information about new schemes, uh, technical help, see jobs and internships, career guidance. So this also gives us an idea. So now we act as a mediator between the queries of the youth and the concerned departments. And we help them out with it. So we are basically, like I said, we are a mediator. Next. What is the way forward? So we are now communicating with the, people, the children who have registered and then coming up with activities which are under the area of interest. We are initiating the district level chapters and we're setting up this thing, sir, it's very unique. It's a youth resource center in each of the 52 districts. It's going to basically be a one-stop shop at the district where we are going to have a youth uh, uh, advisory council and they're going to work with them to develop schemes. And finally, we'll be organizing some activities. That's all. Thank you. I think very good presentation. And if you look at Yuva Maha Panchayat se, jo sujhav yuvaon kya hai, uske chalte in honne Yuva portal bana hai. So, jaj PM sahab bhi subhe kya rahe thai ki hum is batex se bhi kuch nikal kar aisa leke jain, iske upar aage kadam utha sakke. To Madhya Pradesh ne wo already kiya hai. Or presentation bhi baut achchi thi, ek mehne se kam samay ke andar. I think more than 29,058 has already you know, visited your website, 6,000 plus has already registered, which looks good. I mean, that's a good 
साइन अब इस पर आपके कोई सुझाव हैं तो एक एक करके सबसे पहले किसी राज्य के कोई मंत्रीगण बोलना चाहते हैं दोनों प्रेजेंटेशन के ऊपर तो विल गो बाय द फर्स्ट मिनिस्टर्स देन वी कैन गो थ्रू द ऑफिशियल्स ऑफिसर्स एनी मिनिस्टर वॉन्ट्स टू से एनी थिंग और वॉन्ट टू एड एनी थिंग और सजेस्ट टू वॉट वी हैव सीन If no minister is speaking, then any officer want to say something. So I just wanted to just. And uh, we would, uh, sir, एक ना we'll have to look at ma'am uh, uh, how we can integrate what we have done and what has been done nationally, so that we don't replicate and duplicate and unnecessarily increase the effort. So we will have to look at some data management uh, issues also. बिकॉज एम पी स्पेसिफिक तो हमारे पोर्टल से हो जाएगा बट इफ यू लुक एट दी विजन ऑफ एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत एंड लुकिंग एट गिविंग अ मच वाइडर कैनवस टू यूथ देन द इंटीग्रेशन बिटवीन द पोर्टल विच यू आर डेवलपिंग एंड विच वी डूइंग एट द स्टेट लेवल दैट विल हैव टू बी डन सो वो सर दैट विल रिक्वायर बोथ टेक्निकल हेल्प फ्रॉम आई मीन योर आई टी पीपल and of course we will put in our best sure but we don't want to like you know sir duplicate it yeah, in yeah. sense ki no i agree because we have a similar portal which we we are launching yeah we have a similar portal called yuva sathi because they have put it on the other can you show it here i told those fellows to put it the in the technical this. team please because it's in the same context dusre mein chala jayega to context hi badal please show the up presentation yeah. the presentation from the up government नहीं नहीं वो ये इसी से रिलेटेड है वो दूसरे उसमें सेशन में चला जाएगा इसी हमने युवा साथी ऐप बनाया मैं एक बार आपको बता देना चाहता हूँ आई वॉन्ट टू इन्फॉर्म ऑल द डेलीगेट्स दैट वी हैव प्लेस्ड आई वॉन्ट टू स्पीक प्ले कार्ड ऑन द टेबल सो वेन एवर एनी डेलीगेट वॉन्ट टू स्पीक मे प्लीज रेज द प्ले कार्ड इसी काइंड ऑफ सिमिलर एक्सरसाइज वी इन यूपी वी हैव 90,000 villages, and we have in each village, uh, we call it Mahila Mangal Dal and Yuvak Mangal Dal. 20 youth, 20, 20, 40. So we have almost a group of uh, 18 lakh youth, which is connected. Now we are, you know, uploading their data. We have reached up to 35,000 now. You know, we are trying to reach up to 90,000. So for them, what we are presuming is that the youth knows everything. But we have proposed a uh, app called Yuva Sathi. So where we on a single platform we are giving every information about uh, 350 government schemes including state government and central government as well including the hyperlinks which she was talking about and uh, the 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 registration of youth the 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 suggestions the the feedback everything yeah it has come now yeah this is uh, there are two uh, similar kind of presentations yeah carry on So this is your Sathi app that we've already uh, put next. and next, 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 next. Please, please. Basically, idea is to an awareness. We see, we are presuming that youth knows about everything, but no, he has to run to many platforms. So that is why this is a single platform for not only uh, uh, their education, skill, scholarship, jobs, their uh, sports, you know, all whatever a youth needs. Next, hello. This is a you know single platform uh, as I already told you about all these schemes, including hyperlinks for all government of India schemes as well. So he has to visit uh, you know all next whatever subject he wants to. This is these are some of the subjects that has been covered: skill development, self employment schemes, the startups, health, competitive examination, higher education, job, vocational training, career counselling, sports. Next. this is a process where we also get his uh, the information as i was telling you we have uh, 90000 groups of 20 youth in uh, in, the, in, the, in the villages rural basically we are concentrating on rural youth because they are the ones who are who are not aware of many of the government schemes and many of the future uh, potential that they can explore yeah next this is a hyperlink i just wanted to show can you click the hyperlink go back go back go back go back go back इसको ये इसको ये इसको हाँ या प्लीज ये डबल क्लिक कर दो भैया इसको खुल जाएगा अभी हाँ ये 
ये युवा साथी ऐप है ये हिंदी इंग्लिश दोनों में आएगा दिस इज़ अबाउट थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सर्विसेज ऑन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फाइव यूथ स्कीम्स एंड एटी फाइव डिपार्टमेंट्स ऑफ बोथ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट सो दे यू नो वेन यू गेट स्टार्टेड यू गेट ओ टी पी एंड ऑल दो स्टाफ ऑन दिस नेक्स्ट ठीक है ठीक है नेक्स्ट आई डोंट टेक मच टाइम नेक्स्ट प्रजेंटेशन या the another thing that we have now tried is see we keep talking about startups you know i was telling you the 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 your national youth festival should also include a session on startups so what is happening is a large number of rural youth they have ideas but their ideas are not being fructified so we have we are now starting a you know a, a startup exchange every week a day in, uh, in in a place where we have identified we get our rural youth with ideas we get uh, the we have tied up with the angel network uh, up angel network they are the investors and we have tied up with our technical uh, incubators that is the up technical university as well as iim lucknow so where we get representative youth representatives who have who have ideas investors who are looking for ideas and our technical incubators who provide technical support so this uh, this is picking up very well and uh, we had almost uh, 150 youth with ideas last week uh, only and and we are kind to kind of trying to give it a more uh, speed as i was telling you the large rural youth that base that we have we can utilize and we are trying to utilize and now setting up a a, a center of excellence for uh, startups in uh, uh, for rural youth so this will be a, a, a big beginning for uh, rural youth to 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 bring their ideas and we get investors and the technical support to you know fructify their ideas thank you so thank you all i have a, a one basic response to uh, the presentations made by upn uh, mp they were wonderful presentations and uh, they have a very good point friends there is a very basic difference between what uh, the madhya pradesh government app and the up government app has done and what we are doing what is under development essentially the madhya pradesh government app and the up government app at least what i could see of it these are aggregator platforms as deepthi rightly said where they bring together links of, of uh, different kinds of government schemes as she said a one stop shop where people can find information about that we have begun from the ground up where people youth spend a lot of time in doing a large number of activities which don't get recorded anywhere whether it is part of a mission life program whether it is part of a blood donation camp whether it is experiential learning or internship at the end of the day they are not able to get a single point certificate of what they have done so what this yuva portal will do is ki at any time any youth any youth club can get because we have put all that at the back end they can get a single point certificate of all the man hours they have put in and that is the usp that whenever they go for any job application or anything else then that is something for which they don't have to run around different government offices now the thing is that for that kind of single point certificate the content we need to generate from the ground up all the links of the different government programs would in any case be there na wo to aap kisi bhi page ke upar landing page ke upar dal sakte hain to hum bhi dalenge but the point is that are you able to get a college or a business to register and to offer what we are calling an experiential learning or a kind of internship all those processes have been built into that so a a college ruiya college says ki bhai i am onboarding onto this portal my students can apply for any experiential learning opportunities a local business says that they can they are willing to offer these three job roles whether it is accounts or marketing or whatever may be the case and then they are able to apply for that so currently the major problem that we have in this country is that of employability na 
so this uh, particular app is under development which is why the structure look like that for you but the beta version is there yuva.gov.in aap kripya wahan par jaiye dekhiye apne sujhav dijiye if we can get currently the last uh, survey multi function survey said that there are 30% youth in this country who are not in education or employment or training if we can find some way to address their issues then it will have served its purpose please write to us thank you thank you aap piche apne introduction dekh ke fir you can add namaskar sir main amit talwar director for sports and youth affairs in punjab sir uh, first of all thanks sir for uh, organizing this chintan shivar and giving us this opportunity to learn from the other states and government of india sir so uh, when the government of india presentation was happening i jotted down the few points one of the point was definitely the same which uh, ma'am has mentioned that duplication in the states are doing the same effort what government of india is doing so whether we can have one unified kind of a platform which uh, states can also use in plug and play model rather than having different uh, kind of uh, platforms separate platforms which are not talking to each other sir secondly sir i will request that the uh, it is on the technical side when we make the applications they are centric towards what office is making it now this ministry and the secretary sec government of india us office ke liye ban raha hai to ye hota hai ki data upward jata hai par jo niche wale offices hain jaise state headquarter ya district headquarter सो so, उनको अगर कोई डाटा लेना है तो वो पहले मेल लिखें फिर पंद्रह दिन में क्वेरी बिल्डर बनता है तो वो डाटा मिलता है कैन देर बी अ रेडीमेड क्वेरी बिल्डर्स फॉर द स्टेट वेयर दे कैन यूज द डाटा फॉर द स्टेट डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैजिस्ट्रेट्स कैन यूज द डाटा फॉर देर ओन डिस्ट्रिक्ट सो दैट दे कैन बिल्ड देर ओन क्वेरीज देर ओन फिल्टर्स एंड यूज दैट डाटा एंड मेक द मैच मेकिंग एट द लोकल लेवल विद देर ओन एंटरप्रन्योर्स सो दैट विल बी हेल्पफुल फीचर इफ दैट इज डन सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू अमित जी ठीक बुड़ा सॉरी सर एक मिनट नवनीत जी रुकिए एक मिनट अतुल जी सर वी आर आल्सो मेकिंग सम एफर्ट्स इन दिस डायरेक्शन सर बट आवर स्कीम इज कॉल्ड नॉन मुदल वन दैट बेसिकली मींस आई एम फर्स्ट और अर्थार्थ में कहने तो आई एम द प्रायोरिटी सो बेसिकली द यंग पीपल मोस्टली इन द हायर एजुकेशन सेटअप एंड इन द पॉलीटेक्निक एंड आईटीआई सेटअप दे से एज अ मैटर ऑफ एंटाइटलमेंट आई वांट सम स्किल i want credit or i want placement and from the rural areas we are getting demand that i want linguistic skills mostly english language and other soft skills and this is an entitlement basis created and then it is the duty of the government the duty of the private sector through collaborations through mentorship we have to fill this mentorship uh, this gap so that is the approach which tamil nadu is taking sir मेरा इसमें कोई सुझाव नहीं है बट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू से सर आई 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 से वी होगा या नेशन होगा तो थोड़ा बेहतर है बिकॉज यूथ इज टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट्स ओनली नॉट द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सो आई मीन दैट्स योर कॉल आई एम नॉट गेटिंग इनटू दैट डिबेट बट दैट इज देयर सर वेल ऑफ कोर्स सर वंस दिस यूबा पोर्टल बिकॉज वी हैव बीन ऑल्सो टेकन एज वन ऑफ द स्टेट्स वेयर पायलट इज बींग कंडक्टेड वी विल सर्टनली दिस इज बी अ गुड अप्रोच इन द सेंस Uh, our approach is limited to higher education uh, technical institutions but that doesn't mean that we are representing the entire youth setup so with this coming in we will be uh, making it broad base but i just thought i'll share one of the experience of us yes thank you there's one gentleman in the red shirt wanted to speak with you anji apna introduction dekh ke then you can say. जितेंद्र सोलकर डायरेक्टर स्पोर्ट्स उत्तराखंड सर जितेंद्र सोनकर डायरेक्टर स्पोर्ट्स उत्तराखंड सर उत्तराखंड सर आल्सो डिजाइन ऑन अ सेम कंसेप्ट व्हिच इज कॉल्ड यूथ सेंटर यूथ हब एट द लेवल ऑफ द डिस्ट्रिक्ट सेंटर एंड द एट द लेवल ऑफ द ब्लॉक सेंटर सो द बेसिक कंसेप्ट वाज बिहाइंड दिस कि जो हमारा यूथ है सर उसको एक प्रॉपर गाइडेंस नहीं मिल पा रहा है उसको प्रॉपर एक करियर कंसल्टेशन नहीं मिल पा रहा है गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया की क्या उसको स्कीम्स हैं और सेंट्रल स्टेट गवर्नमेंट की क्या स्कीम्स हैं स्पेशली फॉर द रूरल एरियाज और इंटीरियर एरियाज ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द उत्तराखंड एंड अदर पार्ट ऑफ द स्टेट्स एंड कंट्री तो उसको वहाँ पर वो सारी चीज़ें सर उपलब्ध नहीं हो पा रही हैं 
सर उसी को ध्यान में रखते हुए हमने एक यूथ हब सेंटर बनाने की बात की थी डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल पे भी और ब्लॉक लेवल पे भी जहाँ पर सिंगल पॉइंट एंट्री सिस्टम में उसको सारी इन योजनाओं के बारे में ट्रांसपेरेंट तरीके से और टाइम बाउंड तरीके से उसको वहाँ पर वो सारी चीज़ें मिल सके जिससे वो अपने पोटेंशियल को पहचान सके और उसको कहाँ यूटिलाइज करना है किस सेक्टर में जाना है वो सारी चीज़ों को वो एक साथ कोलेबरेट कर सके देखिए ये कि आम बात होगी कि हम भी ये कर रहे हैं बहुत अच्छा है एक ये आया कि क्या सब अलग अलग करें कि एक ही जगह पे सब कुछ सबकी समस्याओं का हल हो एक प्लेटफॉर्म मिल पाए आपका कुछ सुझाव इन दो दो प्रेजेंटेशन हुई हैं उसमें कुछ वैल्यू ऐड करने के लिए तो आप वो बताइए सर सर स्पेसिफिक सर उन दोनों प्रेजेंटेशन को सर देखा और अभी सर यूपी अच्छी लगी हाँ सर बहुत अच्छा था बस उसमें, उसमें कुछ सुझाव है सर तीनों प्रेजेंटेशन में सर कहीं ना कहीं थोड़े थोड़े पॉइंट्स सर मिसिंग हैं अगर उनको क्लब करके एक साथ अगर चाहे सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के लेवल पे ही अगर उसको यूनाइट किया जाए तो वो सारी चीज़ें दूर हो सकती हैं सर देखिए मैं इसको अन्यथा आप लोग लड़ लें क्या मिसिंग है वो बताना है सर एक तो यही मिसिंग है सर कि हम इसको डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल से सर हम ब्लॉक लेवल तक भी इसको हम लेके जाएं ताकि इंटीरियर पार्ट्स के जो हमारे यूथ है जो सबसे ज़्यादा दिशा भ्रमित है उनको हम मेन स्ट्रीम में ला सकें ठीक थैंक यू सर सर आई एम अभिनव कुमार प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी स्पोर्ट्स ऑम उत्तराखंड ओनली जो मेरे डायरेक्टर साहब कहना चाह रहे थे सर कि ये जो हमारे वर्चुअल स्पेस में जो एफर्ट्स हैं सर इनको रियल वर्ल्ड में भी मतलब साकार करने के लिए we need to develop some physical centers starting with the uh, district level and then perhaps going down to the block level sir uh, kyunki abhi kya ho raha hai sir ki hamare jo achhi universities mein ya achhe school mein jo youth milte uh, padhte hain sir unko to kafi achhi support services milti hain un institutions mein by way of career counseling uh, 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 you know job fairs and all that but jo baki aur youth hain jo is us uh, uh, un elite institution se bahar hain उनको ये फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइड करने के लिए एक फिजिकल हब भी होना जरूरी है इन वर्चुअल एफर्ट्स के साथ सर यस प्लीज टिंकू जी नमस्कार मेरे छोटा सा एक सुझाव है आ, ये दो प्रेजेंटेशन और बाकी लोगों ने जो बोला है आ, हम जिसे नॉर्थ ईस्ट में छोटा प्रदेश है तो मध्य प्रदेश और उत्तर प्रदेश इनका पास रिसोर्स बहुत है बहुत बड़ा प्रदेश है तो उनका जो साइड वहाँ पर यूज जाके सार्च कर सकता है लेकिन मेरे ख्याल में सेंटर से मतलब सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट से इसे एक कॉमन प्लेटफॉर्म होना चाहिए है आ, जिसे नॉर्थ ईस्ट के बच्चे भी ढूंढ पाए जो उत्तर प्रदेश में जाके उसको ना मैं मैं क्या कर सकता हूँ और उत्तर प्रदेश वालों को भी पता चले मतलब एक कॉमन प्लेटफॉर्म हो आ, एक सेम डिज़ाइन हो जिसे सरकार यू भी चलाते हैं या इज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस सारे प्रदेश में एक ही फॉर्मेट में है ऐसे कोई एक फॉर्मेट में हो तो ज़्यादा अच्छा है मतलब वो साट्स करने में या हमारे ढूंढने में या आ, जैसे त्रिपुरा के बच्चे भी मध्य प्रदेश में कुछ जॉब ढूंढना है या कुछ वहाँ पे लिंक कर जाए तो इजी हो मेरे ख्याल में एक कॉमन होना चाहिए एक ही डिज़ाइन होना चाहिए पूरा एनी वन एल्स यस प्लीज फारूक जी शैम फारूक अलम कमिश्नर एंड सेक्रेटरी स्पोर्ट्स एंड यूथ वेलफेयर शैम सो it's a very good thing that uh, this yuva portal is coming up but uh, we have to popularize it sir immediately so that's the first aspect and uh, to popularize sir, what will be the role of education department sports and youth uh, affairs department so if you can have uh, one sop so that we can take immediate action so that uh, it goes right down to the grassroots level sir thank you sir anyone else jigar so with your permission i would like to uh, respond to few of the things uh, if you permit zarurat nahi hai ji ye to feedback Achha, session theek if okay. anything specific okay okay uh nahi ma'am actually isme teen char tarike ke doubts aaye that has already been taken care like dashboards har level pe milenge uh, sare states jo hain ha sare states aur sare wo schemes jo hain wo automatically isme update ho jayengi so the point about dashboards has been taken it's a very valid point and dashboards will be designed so that every district level officer every commissioner will try to see whether block level dashboards can also be designed because the data is already there we only need to provide a user interface 
वो सब हम दे देंगे आपका पॉइंट बहुत अच्छा है कि उसको कैसे क्या रोल दिया जाए कैसे पॉपुलराइज किया जाए क्योंकि जैसे मैंने कहा कंटेंट तो भाई आप ही लोगों ने जनरेट करना है जो सरकारी डिपार्टमेंट है वो तो हम लॉग ऑन करा ही देंगे वो हमारा काम है कराना पर जो कम्युनिटी बेस्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैं यूथ क्लब्स हैं रेड क्रॉस है और इतनी सारी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैं कॉलेजेस हैं वो डी वाई ओ विल रीच आउट टू एवरी वन एट द डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल एंड माई अपील टू ऑल ऑफ यू इज प्लीज प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट वी आर हियर टू ओनली शो केस द एफर्ट्स दैट आर मेड बाई यू सो वी हैव नोटेड ऑल दी सजेशन मेड सम ऑफ देम आर वेरी गुड एंड वी होप टू यूज देम टू बिल्ड अ वेरी यूजफुल एप फॉर इट so thank you all for a valuable session one thing i would like to say during the lunch break i would like one navneet ji and dipti ji to be on my table and couple of more officers who have some suggestions to make regard to yuva portal and meeta ji will be on that table the second table will be with the mos youth affairs nisit ji where anyone has to give suggestions on the national youth festival the ministers and the official could be present there so that we could also compile your further any such suggestions or uh, which you want to make we can add on to that usko tab sun lenge aur detail mein thank you sir with this we conclude our session 1 now we move to session 2 restructuring the national youth festival For this, I invite Shri Nitesh Kumar Mishra ji, Joint Secretary Youth Affairs, to moderate the session. Honorable Ministers on the dais, Honorable Ministers present in the meeting, Secretary Youth Affairs, Government of India, Secretary and other senior officers from different states, dignitaries. Good afternoon to all of you. in this session we will discuss regarding restructuring the national youth festival here we will have a, a presentation by department of youth affairs and then there will be a presentation by three states in up has already done their presentation and then we will be having an open house discussion uh, since we are uh, already late we will be running a very uh, tight schedule i will now uh, request the team from uh, doya to come and make their presentation thank you in the meantime there is a chair here atulya ji you can come and sit here for the timing because after that i think you have to make the presentation aur jab inki presentation chal rahi ho tab maharashtras ke representative aa jayenge jab jo jayenge tab tak tripura wale aake baith jayenge taki samay bach pae sure you can start uh, very good afternoon uh, honorable uh, union minister of uh, youth affairs and sports anurag sir mos sir okay so uh, myself devendra vyas assistant director and uh, i am abhay shankar assistant director and vk so uh, today we are actually we will be talking about restructuring of national youth festival so national youth festival uh, was inaugurated on 1995 by the then uh, president of india dr rajendra prasad and uh, we have completed the uh, 26 uh, uh, editions of national youth festival 26th edition was uh, inaugurated by honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji in uh, prince cities of uh, karnataka hubli dharwar in uh, this is an annual event organized by uh, department of youth youth affairs in collaboration with one of the host state of uh, india and nyks and nss and uh, till now we have uh, uh, fixed a uh, schedule of uh, national youth festival as uh, honorable uh, ministers have said that uh, on 12th uh, january on uh, birth anniversary of uh, vivekanand ji we start the national youth festival and it is uh, a five day event we celebrate so uh, sorry to intervene sir is sab basic sab ko pata okay, specific way so okay so need for restructuring so need need for restructuring restructuring is as um, during the uh, inauguration honorable prime minister has outlined that youth is uh, youth is the uh, youth power because of the youth power we need to you know uh, so the intention is that we have had 26 years of national youth festival and we have done excellently but now we need to expand our scope and we need to include the youth in a wider manner so that uh, you know we 
move towards the vision of India at uh, you know, 2047, the vision of that. In order to do that, we have suggested that we expand the competitions and expand the additional programs that we uh, conduct in association with the National Youth Festival. Can we go to the next slides, please? Next slide, please. So uh, this is what we are proposing, that first we have group and individual events, because right now, till now, we had like folk song and folk uh, dance competitions in group sections. We are proposing that this be expanded uh, to individual level also, existing program, that is folk dance, folk song, folk dance, and folk dance for both group and individual sections, and also add a life skill component, because what is it uh, to be human, to have stories, because we have a story of human civilizations. So why don't we encourage our youth to tell stories, to draw pictures, to illustrate what's on their mind, to speak out, to uh, you know, have elocution, photography, to capture the moments in the life that, uh, that surround us and have a just a minute, like speak about uh, you know, topics of their choice. So just, just suggestive topics, and we are uh, expecting that uh, you know, esteemed guests would uh, chip in the during the discussion session, and we can you know, add on to this, uh, what all competitions we can have. Next slide, please. So these are the five themes which we have identified. On, the, on these themes, uh, the competitions or workshop will be organized. So these are in align with the mission 20, 2047, which we are talking about. The first one is youth as job creators. So uh, as the uh, governor sir also said, ki hum abhi, uh, matlab, uh, youth ko job seeker nahi, job creator banana hai. To job creator banane ke liye success stories jo hai states ki, for individual ki, groups ki, wo success stories jo hai is national youth festival we can exhibit. So honorable minister said that it's a cooperative federalism, so we can learn from each other. So there success models hai. Just means one state, another state can learn from another state. One individual can learn from another state. The first theme is the youth as the job creators. So, the best social entrepreneurship is, or the best SRG, which is a woman empowerment tool, SRGs. So, yes, there are many SRGs that are very capable. They can be as success models. So, one state can be replicated in another state. Best startups in any sectors. There are small startups in the tech sector, in the agri sector, in the textile sector. There are a lot of sectors where there are small startups. They can also showcase that 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 they can also और डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन भी ऐसे एक इनिशिएटिव्स लेता है जहां पे एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत के जो ग्रुप है जो इवेंट्स हैं ग्रुप ग्रुप हैं जो ऐसे बहुत अच्छा करते हैं वो ग्रुप को ग्रुप को भी यहां पे शोकेस किया जा सकता है और जैसे डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स भी एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत है वो अलग अलग कैंप्स ऑर्गेनाइज करता है इंटर स्टेट यूथ एक्सचेंज नेशनल इंटीग्रेशन नॉर्थ ईस्ट स्टेट यूथ एक्सचेंज प्रोग्राम नेशनल यूथ फेस्टिवल तो उसमें जो बेस्ट कैंप मेंबर्स हैं in EBSB, people learn about each other's culture, the youth have culture. There are 10 sentences, someone is Udiya, he goes to Udiya in the south. He learns those 10 sentences in Tamil. Someone from Tamil Nadu goes to Kashmir. He learns those 10 sentences in Kashmir. So, in the National Youth Festival, they can act as a brand ambassador of unity and diversity. So, they can play as a role model of Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat. Next one is, as a broad theme, is science for society. Science and technology for society. As this year, we are celebrating the International Year of Millets 2023. So, improving millets production through science. So, science models, like in our schools, science clubs. In our colleges, there are science clubs, technology clubs, robotics clubs, and many other clubs. So through those clubs, how can we increase the production of millets? The behavioral change is how we can include the millets in our diet. The Fit India is a good example of the app. It tracks the whole sports or fitness. So why not we can give a problem statement to our youth too? कि आप एक मिलेट के लिए आप एक ऐप बनाइए जिसमें ऐसा हो कि वो रेगुलर डाइट में कैसे आ सकता है मिलेट्स के फायदे क्या हैं कितना न्यूट्रिशन है वो सब एक ऐप में आए तो जस्ट दिस इस सिंपल प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट कि एक ऐप में कैसे आ सकता है उसके बाद मिलेट्स में जैसे एग्री यूनिवर्सिटीज होते हैं उनको प्रॉब्लम उनको पॉपुलराइज करते हैं। 
तो जैसे ये हमारे यहाँ पे जैसे रिवर राफ्टिंग है जॉर्बिंग है ये एक मतलब बहुत बड़े स्केल पे भी होता है बट कुछ डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स में कुछ विलेजेस में कुछ ब्लॉक्स में ऐसे छोटे छोटे एडवेंचर कैंप्स एडवेंचर गेम्स होते हैं जो इतने आइडेंटिफाइड नहीं है इतने पॉपुलर नहीं है तो जो छोटा ग्रुप जो इनको ऑर्गेनाइज करता है वाई कॉन कैन नॉट दे कम फॉरवर्ड नेशनल यूथ फेस्टिवल में वो अपने प्रजेंटेशन दे एंड इफ दैट टेरेन परमिट्स वो क्यों ना डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन दे तो उनको आइडेंटिफाई करना डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल पे स्टेट लेवल पे देन uh, जो लास्ट ईयर एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स एन वाई एफ टेकिंग इंस्परेशन फ्राम ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर सर फर्स्ट टाइम नेशनल यूथ फेस्टिवल में इंडिजिनियस गेम का डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन हुआ तो सेवन टू एट टीम्स डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड द इंडिजीनियस गेम्स एंड कमिश्नर सर फ्राम कर्नाटका इज ऑल्सो दैट ही इज ही हैज़ विटनेस की मतलब बहुत सारे लोग द लोकल पीपल और ऑल्सो मतलब वहाँ पे एक्सपोज हुए उसके इंडिजिनियस गेम्स कितने ज़्यादा मतलब पीपल और ऑन एज ऑफ देयर सीट थ्रू आउट द इंडिया जो तीन चार दिन पे डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन हुआ एंड योगा डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑब्वियसली वी हैव गिवन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ योगा योगा डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन में जो बेस्ट योगा टीचर्स हैं और एनी अदर इनोवेशन इन द फील्ड ऑफ योगा जो स्टेट्स ने किया है दैट ऑल्सो कैन बी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड और प्रजेंटेड देयर जैसे सर ने बताया था इसमें और भी और भी चीज़ें हैं जैसे लाइक इट कैन ऑल्सो बी अ पॉजिटिव कैंपेन ऑन हाउ टू हैव अ प्रोडक्टिव लाइफ अवॉइडिंग ड्रग्स दर इज ड्रग मैन इज एक्चुअली अफेक्टिंग यूथ सर वी कैन ऑल्सो हैव दो मिनट बचते हैं आपकी प्रेजेंटेशन मॉडल्स ऑन ड्रग्स एंड ऑल्सो ऑन मेंटल हेल्थ इज अ न्यू इशू दैट कैन ऑल्सो बी एडेड टू दिस सो वी कैन प्रेजेंट द बेस्ट मॉडल्स नेक्स्ट ऑन मिशन लाइफ वी आर हैविंग इशू दर इज नो प्लान बी सो वी नीड टू इंटीग्रेट मिशन लाइफ ऑन टू द यू नो लाइफ स्टाइल ऑफ एवरी सिटीजन एस्पेशली द यूथ बिकॉज दे आर गोइंग टू बी द लीडर्स ऑफ टू मोर and uh, next it's about yuva kriti that is the arts and uh, craft uh, exhibition that we have been doing every year so the the, su the suggestion is that we expand the scope of this yuva kriti to include two more things that is one is textiles and second is agro based products because india is the land of textiles from harappan era so we have cotton we had cotton so now what we can do is we have more than 35 traditions of hand no, hand looms and also we have this fusion textiles coming up so we can have models where how we can showcase the new innovations in this sector onto this yuva kriti exhibition come sales platforms every year we sell out in the second day itself it doesn't go to the five days so this is one thing we can do Uh, this is a competition strategy so every state will be allocated uh, one uh, theme on that theme on these activities the uh, to mind these activities are only suggestive uh, states are free to add any act more activities so competition selection kya competition strategy kya hogi ki har state jo theme allocate hota hai from district they will organize one competition and district to state the competition will culminate on the state level so that on national level the best of the best state ka hai वो स्टेट वाले वो रिप्रेजेंट वहाँ पे नेशनल यूथ फेस्टिवल में कर सके नेक्स्ट दिस इज सजेस्टिव ब्रेकअप ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेंट्स हंड्रेड स्टेट का हंड्रेड पार्टिसिपेंट का जो कंटीजेंट होता होता है तो दिस इज दिस इज नॉट अ हार्ड एंड फास्ट कॉम्पोजिशन लाइक स्टेट्स सम स्टेट्स में हैव सम मोर इनोवेशन सम अदर सेक्टर सो दिस इज अगेन ओपन टू इट्स फ्लेक्सीबल डिपेंडिंग ऑन द स्टेट्स इंटरेस्ट बट दिस जस्ट एन इंडिकेटिव ब्रेकअप ऑफ हंड्रेड नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट लाइक प्लीज these yes. are the these are the activities which are organized by host states and nyks and nss so which are young artists young artists mein painting sculpture adventure camp mein that i have already mentioned adventure camp mein jorbing activities hoti hain food festival and the music shows next this is the proposed calendar uh, in uh, today this this month we will uh, identify the themes and allocate activities identify the themes that we allocated drop drop yes i did yes so identify your themes today we'll be identifying uh, like uh, we'll Hello. be allotting the themes and uh, by may uh, the states can uh, finalize the activities and from july to september uh, the district and state level competition can be held on the final state contingent in october november the final state uh, finalization of state contingent can be done thank you very much thank you thank you very much for the presentation and now we have a presentation from state of tamil nadu are from honorable minister sir uh, i will just initiate it and then my colleague will take it over sir in 2008 we had conducted the chennai youth festival and uh, the youth festival has totally changed from those days and it has become a much it is on a much bigger canvas uh, our main suggestions are sir that uh, to make it broad based we have to conduct state youth festivals now so that the best of the districts can come in 
As of now, it is basically an NSS NYKS affair. We have to bring more youth to it, sir. We also wish that uh, there could be artist camp, photography and short film camps, and if possible, a fashion show on ethnic costumes by involving NIFT. These are base suggestions, sir. And uh, the rest will be shown in a PPT by my colleague. Tamil Nadu PPT, please. Honorable Dignitary Sonand of the Dais, Anayavarikum Vanakkam. Next slide. Sir, uh, we all know that the rising aspirations and uh, dynamic expectations of youth will also have a spillover effect on the large, largest youth congregation that is National Youth Festival. So it is with this understanding that we are looking at restructuring and reimagining the National Youth Festival. And we all know the present architecture and the, the all-encompassing nature of the present architecture. Next. Uh, when we reimagine and relook at it, we relook at it uh, from the perspective of intergenerational uh, cultural spaces. Uh, when we say this, the idea is we all know that culture is an important binding factor in our country. Uh, we also, beyond that, we also look at, uh, look at it as a knowledge transfer tool, particularly on the platform of National Youth Festival. When we say IGCS, what we mean is that the buzzwords that we would like to highlight here is collaboration and co-creation. Uh, basically, across the full spectrum of uh, the design and implementation of uh, uh, National Youth Festival, the uh, youth will guide the entire uh, exercise. That's, that's what we mean by intergenerational uh, cultural spaces. Next. So, uh, looking at the reimagine and restructuring perspective, a few ideas that we thought we will present here is one, the increase in number of competitive events with focus on team and group events rather than individual events because the team and group events will bring in uh, the element of uh, teamwork, team spirit, and we'll be able to bring in larger number of uh, participants in the entire uh, festival. And participation in non-competitive uh, events uh, through district and uh, state level uh, selection procedures, a uh, strict uh, selection procedure, so that the best talent would be uh, available at National Youth Festival. Uh, inclusive spaces, we speak a lot on Divyang empowerment and transgender rights these days. And uh, we strongly believe that the National Youth Festival should reflect what we speak at the national level on Divyang rights and uh, transgender rights. Uh, we all know the kind of power that our para you know, athletes show uh, on the world stage. So if that could be done, why not their talent across culture and other spaces uh, with NYF as the platform. Uh, youth exchange is something that we feel should happen in the run-up to the uh, National Youth Festival so that youth from various states can visit other states, probably one or two states, partner states could be, could be created, and then they can have a feel of what, what will happen at the National Youth Festival. We also uh, believe that youth parliaments, both at National uh, Youth Festival and taking inspiration from it at district and state levels, probably one uh, uh, theme could be selected every year and the states could be, the teams from the states could be encouraged to speak, you know, as part of the National uh, uh, Youth Parliament. Also with an idea that it will deepen the democratic process and make them understand the importance of the democracy in this country. Uh, Themes in focus we have all discussed, but we also felt Digital India could be an important team that we should not miss on NYF platform. Startup India's, the kind of startup power that we are seeing should be made visible on the stage. Uh, gig economy, uh, most of the youth in our country are part of gig economy in one way or the other and that should be uh, uh, presented there. Uh, upskilling and entrepreneurship, which is the recurrent theme that we are all talking about today, should be part of our NYF platform. And uh, NYF compendium is what uh, another thing that we felt about. Uh, on various thematic events, uh, there should be a compendium co-created by the youth by the end of the National Youth Festival. Next. Next, please. So, and in the existing uh, 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 framework, we, uh, we looked at new generation art box, canvas of collaboration, fusion food, nature walks and heritage walks, and youth summit. Next. Uh, when we say new generation art box, when we bring either competitive or non-competitive events, the idea is to focus on contemporary forms and styles of expression, particularly recognition of digital art forms and non-conventional mediums, uh, where youth you know, spend most of their time these days, like uh, short films, documentaries, uh, animation art, stand-up comedies, and digital posters. Next. A canvas of collaboration, this, this could be basically in the non-competitive uh, non mode, basically to create a mural made from art forms of different states to highlight the spatial and chronological expanse of art evolution of our uh, rich country. Also, it will stand as a symbol of unity and uh, uh, integration, the, the guiding principle of Ek Bharat and Shresh uh, Bharat. Next. Fusion food, the, the, the guiding philosophy being in integration through ingredients, that's the idea. Rather than showcasing just our cuisine, we can create a concept of fusion food where people can adopt other styles and bring in a fusion food uh, to the food festival. Last, next. 
nature walks and heritage walks we do have a mindfulness uh, session in the morning so that could be converged with nature walks and uh, uh, heritage walks with the emphasis on storytelling by the youth who come over there and uh, tell the stories from their own uh, regions and uh, states next uh, youth summit of the youth for the youth and by the youth rather the, the critical thing here being the shift from lecture mode to a workshop model uh, uh, and uh, suggestive themes being understanding religion in all forms since we are commemorating Swami Vivekananda which is an extremely important thing upskilling and entrepreneurship voting as a democratic right mental health matters which should be spoken about uh, you know for these day youth and substance abuse and gender rights next thank you sir Thank you so much for the presentation. Now I request a representative from Maharashtra. Thank you so much. And that will be followed by a presentation by Tripura. Thank you, sir. Respected dignitaries. Uh, may I have the presentation, please? So sorry, we, we are just talking about an idea, ma'am. Because, uh, because we, I, I, I have, uh, see, the whole idea here we are, we are talking about is agriculture being the backbone of this country. Youth in agriculture need to be given, given a special attention. Problem with agriculture and state like Maharashtra where agriculture is basically doing so well. We are uh, number one in most of the exports. That is the, and nobody wants to be in agriculture anymore. How do we attract youth in agriculture? How do you make agriculture more attractive, more fashionable, more technology driven, where the youth can take aspiration to be an agriculturist, to be a professional in agriculture business. And that is where I think the theme should, see the point of entire having this youth festival is to inspire youth, to inspire them to do something which can, which in through which they can contribute to the society, to the contribution of national development. And that is where I'm coming from. Next please, next please. Around 58% of the agriculture workforce is below the age of 40. 52% the two examples, UP, Bihar, Maharashtra, more than 52% youth are engaged in agriculture. 12.9% uh, is employment. We, we have a best option or a best scene where we can actually promote uh, youth to do something in agriculture because that's what we, we uh, you cannot change that uh, number in a recent years because we have a good technological ecosystem thriving, more than 50,000 startups in India by in 2021. Social entrepreneurship is also increasingly, you know, people are now interested. Literacy rate is, rate is also rising. So this is a good ecosystem where we can actually look at it in a different way. Next, please. Maharashtra, as I said, we are uh, highest average, uh, this thing, uh, GDP, 30% population is within this particular range. What we have, uh, the, we have, we have, we are number one in production. We are number one in exports in many things. And uh, uh, so, 22% of agri-tech startups in India belongs to Maharashtra. And out of many of those are, are agri are startups, they belong to in, in the sector of agriculture. And uh, around 47.50% of youth workers engage in agri-allied activities. So when you when you talk about youth festivals, when you talk about all these things, most of the time urban or peri-urban youths are normally engaged. Now what we are saying that we must encourage, we must acknowledge efforts taken by youths in agriculture sector. We must promote those youths to do something better, and which is we you know which can be example for the entire country. I'm just giving you a few examples, sir. These are the case studies or the case which can, which can inspire this particular dialogue here and we can come up with certain ideas which can be incorporated in our youth festival. Next, please. So, adopting, what are they doing? What are they doing? So, they, we are adopting new technologies and scientific methods, mechanization, IT, IoT-based solutions, integrated waste management systems, soil testing, etc. Government initiatives, there are definite government initiatives of financial assistance, training, marketing, etc. But most importantly, they are now, we are now looking at climate resilient smart ag agriculture, which is very important in terms of uh, climate resilient technologies. This, this is precision farming, ICT interventions, and of course, agri startups. Agri startups are focused in the area such as agri tech, farm to fork supply chains, and sustainable agriculture. These are the areas I think we should 
concentrate on in our our basic theme themes where you must promote these uh, uh, young entrepreneurs young agriculturists who are doing something in these sectors next please next please i'm just giving you few examples crop subsidy an initiative this is an example could be set for the entire country pest in agriculture is a major disaster now more than 80000 youths in ag youth agriculture youths are engaged in this where we are setting giving them an, a platform where they basically become partners with the government they give lot of inputs on pest incidence pest progression pest infestation in various crops it the entire data is collected at centrally and then agriculture advisories are issued and then control measures are taken the most of the important success story is the uh, if 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 you understand agriculture in cotton Uh, the uh, fall army worm is the major challenge that the entire crop is uh, swept away in weeks time for this with this crop sap we are now for last 10 years there is not a single incidence of fall army worm in cotton we are now doing it for 22 or different crops and most of these uh, basically farmers are youngsters next please sayadri is a success story 18000 farmers most of them are young farmers they are engaged in basically developing a supply chain it started with grape now they are doing vegetables then other other fruits also where the sayadri uh, is again a farmer organization gives them inputs scientific know how they give them enter end to end blockchain technology solution for for and then marketing this has revolutionized the entire agriculture uh, supply chain these youths these whatever they have done needs to be you know acknowledged and these kind of components should be included next please i just give you two and then i'll stop kisan connect started with 11 youths came together started this app they only it was a whatsapp group now it has completely transformed into an iot based solution company they they are using technologies they are now gathering uh, they have their own uh, pack houses their own marketing channels and this is complete d to c direct to customer service uh, uh, initiative which was next please and this is the last one covid wedge initiative more than 20000 22000 farmer groups mostly women mostly young women farmers participated in this it started as a covid initiative where they collected vegetable and supplied to cities but then we realized there is huge potential in peri urban areas also and now it has been established these groups are now thriving there are more than 44000 groups where which are which are now engaged in supply of various food items and vegetables to urban urban cities next please science food so society again a very big initiative dehydration technology for food preservation and food chain more than 800 micro entrepreneurs mostly women run are basically engaged and they are now catering to 18000 different uh, other enterprises and again this has become a huge uh, uh, kind of a, a business initiative among youth so sir my 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 request would be we need to acknowledge these things you uh, and then agri youth in agriculture is very neglected uh, community and i think if we can we could incorporate something in this uh, we will definitely for science and technology would be going for maharashtra and we will be definitely focusing on particular youth engaged in agriculture in sport thank you very much thank you thank you so much uh, for your presentation sir and now i request a representative from tripura Namaskar, sir. Dignitaries on the dais, and dignitaries who are available in this august house. Uh, basically, the restructuring of uh, National uh, Youth Festival is derived from the lessons learned from the 26th uh, National Youth Festival held in Karnataka, uh, with the uh, Prime Minister's uh, speech there. The the can-do spirit of our Yuva Shakti. Uh, can I go to the? Uh, yeah, next. Spirit of Yuva Shakti inspires everyone, and there were certain other themes. Then, basically, the theme was that Vikshit Yuva and Vikshit Bharat, the diverse cultures on a platform, single platform. So, these are all the lessons we have learned from the. Uh, national youth festival held on uh, there earlier tripura is a hilly state with a composite culture of next slide please yeah. 19 tribes bengalis and manipuri 
the youth affairs department has been doing the routine activities. Apart from that, we give priority for mobilizing the youth forces towards the right direction from the lessons we learned from the National Youth Festival held last. Next. <clears throat> the empowering the youth via various activities actually is being emphasized so that the success stories which are uh, being built up out of this empowering the youth can be the success stories when we go to uh, organize the next uh, National Youth Festival. These are creating sustainable environment. We engage the youths with the pollution control board against the single use disposables, tree plantation and other activities. Enabling youth to provide uh, youth services, we also engage the youth in leadership building exercises, uh, we train them. We also emphasize on imparting quality education in schools and colleges, skills and uh, vocational education, building entrepreneurship in collaboration with various departments. Then there is emphasis on adventure sports, healthy behavior and lifestyle. We go for IC activities on HIV and AIDS, and then we also go for formation of the youth clubs, youth participation for disaster management, social welfare and training for self-defense, particularly for the women volunteers. We also engage the clubs for various other activities and uh, protection of youth from drug abuse. For that, we conduct different sports activities, street drama, seminars in 22 degree colleges in Tripura. We also focus on disabilities and youth at a risk. Then we conduct awareness by the NSS on the use of social media because there is cyber crime with the help of the police, cyber crime, cyber crime crime uh, department cell, we organize those type of awareness activities so that the youths are not involved in cyber crimes also. Then we want to inculcate the youths on patriotism, harmony, national integration. Next please. Next please. Yeah. Then we focus on gender empowerment and we have planned for the next four and a half years so that we can accomplish those gender empowerment through financial assistance to female students. Then Moksha Mandri Kanna Atmanibhar Yujana, there will be, I uh, know, to the meritorious, meritorious students will be given scooty. Then initiating the state talent research theme, scheme, launching mission, Atmanibhar Mohila Prakalpa, then promoting women SSGs. Then we focus on Unnato Tripura and stress to Yuba in the next few years. Self-employment opportunity to the interested youths, launching Tripura Sainik Abhiyan so that they can make entry in the armed forces or police recruitment. Launching of the Tripura Agni Veer program, initiating Samarth Tripura Abhiyan in financial, digital literacy and soft skills, ensuring gymnasium <laughs> Ground in every Gram Panchayat, establishing Tripura uh, uh, Skill University, then Skill Development Corporation for the youths. We also uh, want to have Chief Minister's Fellowship Program to encourage the youths so that they can become professionals, free coaching centers for the uh, youths, then establishing the Sachindra Barman Performing Arts Academy, so that we can popularize the folk dance, music, theater, and encouraging the activities associated with them. Then we have Nashamuk Ovision, which is uh, very important because the youths are in, nowadays indulging in uh, you know, various drug abuses. Campaign is going on. We want to launch the campaign with an investment of 150 crores in the state. 
integrated rehabilitation center will be set up and task force will monitor the impact of the de-addiction measures. There is a suggestion for inclusion of some indigenous uh, games and indigenous dances like Hojagiri, Shangrai, Mahamiza, which are very popular in the state. So the youths are engaged in this, even at the national level, youth festival. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, representative from Tripura. Now we have, uh, the house is open for discussion and we are only five minutes late than our schedule. So we are keeping 15 minutes for this with the permission of chair, sir. Sir. So. Sir, you, you know, there is a request, two things. One is if you could include the subject of idea of India 2047. So you spread the idea down to the, 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 the last level and the second thing is you are suggesting the the competitive stuff should start from district. No, no, but you please start it from block, yeah. block level, yeah, because it will give a lot of uh, spread to the, to the, to the, the, the subjects which you are, um, uh, you have identified. And if it goes to the block level, you know, there, it, it will not be much uh, difference, except that if we, like UP has to do it, we have to do it at 885 places, we will do it. We will do it, but it, the, the whole subject, the idea would go down to the block level and that is the, the more mass uh, involvement of the youth. And uh, the third uh, suggestion is that please don't limit the number of participants. Last, last time said, so se jada nahi aega. Ab 40-50 to usi mein ho jata culture program mein. Baakiyo ko kaise bhejega? To do chaar aage piche option hona chahi. <laughs> Thank you. Namaskar. नमस्कार मैं अरूप विश्वास मैं मिनिस्टर हूँ बंगाल गवर्नमेंट से आई एम लुकिंग आफ्टर द यूथ एंड स्पोर्ट्स एज वेल एज द पावर एंड हाउसिंग रेस्पेक्टेड अनुराग जी नीतीश जी एक्चुअली वी आर डिस्कसिंग अवर द नेशनल यूथ फेस्टिवल मैं चाहता हूँ ये नेशनल यूथ फेस्टिवल इम्पेसाइज ऑन द कल्चरल साइड देर इज अदर साइड वी आर डिस्कस अवर द स्पोर्ट्स एंड गेम्स शुड बी Concentrate on the cultural side. 15 to 20 events will be there. Our Bengal me, I'm like block level se our student youth festival hota hai. Nitish ji ko pata hoga. Block level se district, district se state. So 15, 20 event hone se, I'm like oise hi ready karke jayenge har state se. Tab ek competition hoga, jisme I'm like it should be a talent searching program, jahan se I'm like future ka futures ko dhoondenge. Ye acha hoga. नहीं इतना कुछ जो कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इतना सब्जेक्ट हो जा रहा है मेरे ख्याल है ऑर्गेनाइज करने में दो महीना में हो नहीं सकता है इतना बड़ा स्टेट में तो बहुत सारे सब्जेक्ट इट शुड बी रिस्ट्रिक्टेड ऑन 15 टू 20 इवेंट्स देन इट शुड भी हमारे पुत्र कंफर्टेबल होगा स्टेट में करने के लिए क्योंकि इतना ब्लॉक करके डिस्ट्रिक्ट करके स्टेट करके फिर आपके वहाँ जाने के लिए हमको तैयारी करने में बहुत टाइम लगता है दो महीना इनफ नहीं है तो इसमें रिस्ट्रिक्टेड होना चाहिए गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन नेशनल यूथ फेस्टिवल में ज़्यादातर देखते हैं कि कल्चरल सेक्टर का ज़्यादा ये होता है थोड़ा सा उसमें गाइड करना चाहती हूँ हो सकता है मैं भी सही हो सकता है गलत भी हो सकता है इसमें इंक्लूड करना चाहूँगी ओलंपिक नॉलेज कंपटीशन, ओलंपिक नॉलेज कंपटीशन, क्योंकि यूथ पार्टिसिपेट करते हैं जब ओलंपिक्स गेम होती है तो हम यूथ को ज़्यादा प्रायोरिटी देते हैं तो इसलिए दूसरा चीज़ है कि स्पोर्ट्स कंपटीशन यूज़ कर सकते हैं बट हम उसमें फाइव इंडिजिनस स्पोर्ट्स गेम्स को यूज़ कर सकते हैं इसलिए क्योंकि अदर कंट्री जो होते हैं इसी तरह गेम अपना लोकल गेम को यूज़ करते हैं और उसी में से इन्वेंट करते हैं तो हम भी हमारे लिए भी एक स्टेज बनेगा इस तरह का फाइव इंडिजिनस गेम को अगर हम लोग इसमें लाएंगे जो लोकल इवेंट पूरे ऑल ओवर इंडिया में जो भी होता है फर्स्ट टाइम फाइव इवेंट ला सकते हैं जो कॉम्पिटिटिव स्पोर्ट्स uh, होगा तीसरा इंक्लूड कर सकते हैं डिस्कशन ऑन ओलंपिक वैल्यूज ओलंपिक वैल्यूज मीन्स रेस्पेक्ट फ्रेंडशिप एंड एक्सीलेंट जिसका यूथ 
जो जो परफॉर्मेंस की बात करते हैं वहाँ आती है जिसमें कि हो सकता है जेंडर इक्विटी एंड इक्वलिटी इन स्पोर्ट्स डोपिंग मैनुपलेशन और ब्राइवरी और करप्शन लाइक दैट गुड गवर्नेंस इन स्पोर्ट्स मीडिया इन स्पोर्ट्स लाइक दैट सो ये मेरा जस्ट सजेशन है थैंक यू सर आई एम रविंद्र शंकरन डी जी स्पोर्ट्स अथॉरिटी बिहार माई सिंपल सजेशन इज दिस डेज यूथ आर वेरी मच एक्टिव विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू क्रॉस वर्ड पजल्स सो क्रॉस वर्ड पजल शुड बी इंक्लूडेड एंड नंबर टू इज दे आर मोर नाउ इन टू ई स्पोर्ट तो इफ दीज टू कैन बी इंक्लूडेड दैट विल बी ग्रेट सर थैंक यू एंड इफ बी आर इज गिवेन दिस टू टू बी कंडक्टेड वी विल डेफिनेटली डू इट थैंक यू सर आई थिंक वी हैव टू फोकस मोर ऑन द ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स एंड द सेमिनार this is one and uh, if we want to increase the magnitude then we have to uh, involve the foreign exchange program this is my two suggestions so my suggestion is more in terms of the institutionalization of the youth festival and how we can take gains from it so like everything has an alumni network you know uh, most institutions have an alumni network if we can think of an alumni of the previous youth festival participants the awardees and the cross learning between them that is a bond which remains for a long time so if we can think some of some way of institutionalizing this second so the entire organization of these youth festivals for uh, for obvious reasons it gets very concentrated by the depart uh, government it's run by the government and you have a couple of uh, youth uh, volunteers who have been working with you for a long time aap unko trust karte hain unse karate hain so in almost all good institutions like if you have the iits and you have the universities these kind of festivals are conceptualized designed done by the youth themselves so if we can like if the previous youth uh, uh, participants the youth uh, uh, festival participants if we can involve them in the organization also of the youth festival and they come from various states so this entire concept of uh, you know a, a nation as a whole and uh, the the organization of the festival that itself is a very good experience in terms of both learning in terms of capacity building in terms of uh, you know um, um leadership development and those bonds would remain forever so so that doesn't remain a one off exercise it becomes something which keeps continuing and it keeps getting added over a period of time that is my uh, so dipti that is an excellent suggestion and what the format we have suggested is that while the theme will be allocated today by draw of lots how you want to conceptualize it what activities you choose is your baby you want to involve some student organization to conceptualize and in, uh, execute it your baby all we have said is that you must hold competitions at district level at least to select competition uh, to select competitors if uh, segal wishes to hold at block level that is the state's outlook हम आपको सिर्फ इतना बता रहे हैं कि थीम्स यहाँ से डिसाइड होके आज ड्रॉ लॉट्स में एलोकेट होगी उसका आपको कंसेप्ट क्या करना है आप देखिए मैम मेरा कहना कुछ थोड़ा सा इससे भिन्न था ये तो हम लोग जो करेंगे अपने स्टेट पे तो करेंगे मेरा कहना था कि अगर हम इसको नेशनल यूथ फेस्टिवल का लेबल दे रहे हैं सो दैट द नेशनल पार्ट ऑफ इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ थिंग दैट कैन बी बेटर एक्सेंचुएटेड बेटर स्ट्रेंथन इफ यू थिंक ऑफ अ मैकेजम लाइक दिस इट्स समथिंग विच इज ओपन फॉर सजेशन एंड डिस्कशन इट्स एट जस्ट अजेशन and the second was very small thing is uh, the 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 what i my feedback on the second aspect which is regarding the life skill component if uh, that right now the way it is structured in terms of the poster making and the story telling and all that that uh, if that can be slightly changed in terms of a little more of the uh, contemplative and reflective experiences which become very uh, useful things which these children take back otherwise again it becomes a competitive exercise rather than there is no life skill which you are actually developing through that particular module uh, you know you can't do it in 3 days or 4 days time so if that we can have some there are uh, people who work on this and there are uh, we have our own organizations who work on that so if that can be list little bit thought about so that actually you know you you go back with some particular uh, uh thank you sir good afternoon this is mulli mikhilin from karnataka sir uh sir uh, uh, our suggestion is that uh, the national youth festival can become a all through over the year program uh, probably enabled by uh, the portal 
which can have uh, all these events and competitions right from the block level to the top can be captured through those uh, portals and, all, uh, and also discussion forums can be enabled in that portal where continuously there is discussion and everything. And uh, we had this youth summit and Suvichar where experts or uh, achievers from specific fields were uh, brought to interact with uh, uh, youth of who are participating in the NYF. If youth can select their area of interest, people who are already working in a particular area of interest, and who have uh, participated in things like that, if they are brought in, then probably they can take back a new inspiration and they can have specific interaction with those achievers in the field. And uh, particularly for areas like Digital India and uh, uh, you know uh, startups and entrepreneurship and all that, problem statements from public sector can be thrown, thrown out to the youth right at the beginning itself. And uh, students and startups, they can actually find solutions and they can come there new when you can bring in uh, make it as a platform where venture capitalists startups achievers can come and they also interact with them the third and last point is sir uh, particularly for areas like adventure sports yoga and indigenous uh, games uh, people can we can go from a demo mode to a workshop mode and the outcome could be a certificate so uh, it's possible, sir, for an adventure sport or uh, this thing. So I go to a national youth festival with a specific purpose, and I actually come back with a skill which I learn in that particular three to five days. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, my uh, suggestion is regarding organization, not about restructuring, sir. Sir, I'm Raju Basnet, Secretary of Sports from Sikkim, sir. So ye, uh, recently concluded the Karnataka Youth Festival was sir. Se abruptly uh, TADA dena band kar diya, sir, states contingent ko. Uh, and next thing is ye jo, uh, organization hota hai, sir, venue last minute tak fix nahi hota hai, sir. So for us who commute from uh, states like Sikkim, it's very difficult to send a contingent. Wa, last time also we had to book an entire buggy and then get it attached to some train which was so difficult to get that uh, we almost had to you know, knock every door at the center and the ministry everywhere. So uh, I request if the venue can be fixed at least three or four months in advance, and then the uh, TADA could be given to the state contingents. Thank you, sir. Uh, right. I'm from Chhattisgarh. Uh, sir, I would like to suggest, if possible, we can include different segment of bhajan gayak for youth, bhajan gayaki, and then gajal gayaki, and then I, I would, uh, second, e-sports is a massive sport now, youth are playing, and globally it is played, it is into Asian games also, introduced, and we have won medals also, so you know much about e sports, these three are our suggestions, sir. Uh, sir, we have been defining youth uh, on the basis of age. So uh, what I was thinking is... Uh, sir, Farooq Alam or Sam, sir? Sir, we have a state placard so that we can just take it and tell us that we know the state's name and we will take the state's name. So, uh, I was just thinking a uh, few minutes back, so why not define youth? We can give a tag uh, word or a tag sentence to each of the letters of the word youth. For example, Y can be young mind, O can be open to ideas, U can be united, we stand, T is thoughtful, H is hardworking, <laughs> something like that. Uh, that definition from the ministry, if it comes, that will be good, sir. And the second thing uh, regarding the life skill thing, sir, story writing and also we can have a compilation after the event is o over so that they get the writers, they get one recognition also. So photographs also, we can have one album also, we can send it to their schools or colleges or universities and to the concerning uh, participant also, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Namaskar, sir. I'm Vikram Aditya Singh from uh, Himachal Pradesh, Minister for Youth Services and Sports. Honorable Anurag ji and all uh, esteemed members present here. It is an honor for me to be present here and representing my state. Today, uh, the National Youth Festival, 
your annual event a lot of uh, things have been spoken in terms of culture lifestyle uh, and uh, thematic and yuva kirti but something that i think uh, needs to be dwelt upon is uh, the climatic changes and uh, the global warming that is happening and we are a signatory to the green initiative as as a state also and a nation also something in that regard should also be harped upon which i believe will help the coming generations to make them more aware about uh, the climatic changes that are happening in the state so whatever different things in terms of what i was seeing in maharashtra short films and documentaries being done and in natural heritage walks and uh, different things are being done and also the production of uh, different uh, 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 seeds and uh, millets and jowar in different areas but what i want to harp up upon jis pe main apna emphasis dena chahta hu ki it should be in done in, in consonance with global warming that is something that needs to be harped upon and maybe that also can be brought in at uh, some sphere thank you sir as a uh, precursor to the youth festival and uh, can we think of creating youth icons which can be recognized at that platform through uh, uh, kind of uh, some challenges which can be precursor to the event starting right way like uh, some kind of fitness challenge some kind of a community service challenge that those kind of challenges which can be uh, 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 created right now eight ten challenges and those eight ten icons can be then felicitated at the final event uh, those who meet up those challenges or come first on those challenges sir sir secondly sir had mentioned about the uh, duties part rather than the rights part so uh, we have for example sir we have so many apps on the gaming uh, speed breakers and we have but we don't have any single app which is telling about the best scoring best scoring according to what is a good driving what is a good law following so can we have app development of app on the experiential learning and following the law through experiential learning how to drive on a street rather than doing the speed driving whether you are meeting up the points with a good driver with a good so this is one example there can be on the other side on the sustainability on the green uh, side how do you do the sustainable living so that experiential learning through the apps but on the positive side not on the negative side like the speed driving or something so this is the two suggestions sir namaskar sir main sidaram lamba rajasthan se hu sir uh, bahut acche suggestion aaye aur uh, main specially mention karna chahta hu jo tamil nadu ki ppt hai usme bahut hi powerful suggestions hain aur specially jaise ki शॉर्ट फिल्म मेकिंग और इनको भी जगह दी जाए ताकि जो युवा इस समय आ, जिस फील्ड में अपना करियर भी बनाना चाहते हैं वहाँ पर उनको जगह मिल पाए दूसरा सर मेरा एक सजेशन है कि जो आ, हमारा यूथ फेस्टिवल्स में यूथ अवार्डीज जो हम लोग आ, देते हैं यूथ अवार्ड्स उनको उसके बाद कोई हम फैसिलिटी नहीं देते तो जिस तरह से नेशनल में जो हमारे प्लेयर्स को हम लोग पैसा भी देते हैं उनको आगे फैसिलिटेट भी करते हैं उनको आगे बढ़ने के मौके देते हैं वैसे ही हमें हमारे यूथ अवार्डीज़ को भी मौके देने चाहिए और उसमें थोड़ा सर स्टेट गवर्नमेंट और सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के जो कोऑर्डिनेशन हैं उसमें थोड़ी प्रॉब्लम है तो प्रॉपर सर एक कोऑर्डिनेशन ज़रूर होना चाहिए और एक जो यूथ जो हमारा यूथ नेशनल यूथ फेस्टिवल है उसमें हम चाहते हैं जैसा कि आपने भी कहा कि नीचे स्टेट में ज़िले में कंपटीशन हो स्टेट में कंपटीशन हो देन वो आए बट स्टेट में इतने पर्टिकुलर इस चीज़ के लिए फ़ंड्स नहीं होते तो हम ऊपर तो फ़ंड्स लगाते हैं पर नीचे हम लोग फ़ंड्स देते नहीं हैं तो थोड़ा अगर स्टेट्स में इसके लिए हम देंगे तो ज़्यादा बेहतर तरीके से स्टेट भी काम कर पाएंगे और अच्छी प्रतिभाएँ निकल कर अलग अलग क्षेत्रों से आगे आएंगी थैंक यू सर तो दैट सब म्यूज़िक को लेके मैं ज़रूर कहना चाहूँगा कि uh, ना सिर्फ uh, गज़ल या भजन सिंगिंग बट इवन द मोर मॉडर्न फॉर्म्स ऑफ म्यूज़िक विच एंगेज द यूथ अलॉट मोर इंक्लूडिंग मतलब यू नो 
maybe more Western forms of music, they should also be included in the festival because I definitely think that will increase the interest and participation. Similarly, sir, the other current obsession of our youth is social media. So, social media pe adharit agar kuch competitions uh, youth festival mein rakhe jayen ya kuch events rakhe jayen like a TikTok competition or something like that. Perhaps that would also increase the interest level and participation in the youth festivals. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, this is Vaseem Raja, Additional Secretary, Youth Services Sports JNK. Uh, I have a couple of suggestions, sir. The first one is that uh, we must have a tagline and uh, then go for a strong prevent publicity of uh, the youth festival so that it creates a level of inquisitiveness among the youth uh, beforehand. Uh, then we must also look at the takeaways of the event, sir. Um, I believe that uh, the youth in the tribal areas, they need uh, special sessions of capacity building in these festivals so that they are able to earn their livelihood. For example, if somebody wants to establish, uh, set up a small adventure hire equipment shop, uh, he must know uh, what to do about that and uh, what are the government schemes that help uh, that would help uh, him in that. So similarly, uh, there are so many youth who uh, are innovators and who have uh, developed and who have invented a lot of gadgets. They need to be provided a platform uh, in, in these youth, fe youth festivals, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now they will be drawing lo of lots for the assignment of themes for organizing events to, to different states and union territories for the 27th Youth Festival to be organized in January 2024. I request the team from Department of Youth Affairs to undertake the exercise immediately. This youth festival will be drawn of lots. Yes, sir. Lots. Theme allocation. Theme is wale. Thoda speed pakdo, bhai. Ek hi hai bas. Meanwhile, I will like to announce that we have set up a BMI center near the registration counter. All the delegates who are interested can get their BMI done and even download the Fit India app.
now we break for lunch i request all the delegates to join for the lunch on the ground floor in the convention center honorable ministers and the delegates joining them on the dining table for discussion may please proceed upstairs we shall meet after 45 minutes at 2:45 pm thank you